our Two. subscription box for May. Nine. We're gonna do our week about flowers. Yeah, flowers. We're gonna start off with our hello song so you guys can join on in, okay? Ready? Hello, 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 hello. hello. How are you today? Hello, 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 hello. How are you today? My name is Meg and this is Margaret. Now tell me what's your name? Me. It's so nice to meet you here. Now let's begin our day. Yay! Yay! All right, so our week is about flowers. Flowers grow in the spring and they bring so sun. much. Sun! Yeah, from the sun. They grow and they bring so much beautiful colors for oh, us to take, look at. Is it green? You like green flowers? Yeah, I like the yellow flowers. What color flowers do you guys uh -huh. like? Oh, yellow, wow. Green. Yeah, all our colors are up here. You're right. Well, we just celebrated Mother's Day. And Mother's Day, I got some flowers from my kids and my husband. And they were we'll beautiful. Have flowers. Yeah. We'll have flowers. No. And I got lots of snuggles and kisses for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you guys have a great day? I have a party in my day. Yeah. Well, we will share with you some important facts about flowers and what they do. Flowers for us. do many good things for us. Um, not only are they beautiful to look at and they smell wonderful, but when given to us by someone else on a special occasion, it makes us feel like we have been thought of, um, cared for, and it brightens our mood and it makes us smile. They are also wonderful for our environment. Environment. Flowers grow on plants and plants produce oxygen. That's the good air that we breathe. And that is called photosyn photosynthesis. All right. And during this cycle, plants absorb carbon dioxide, which is the bad air. It's full of toxins. They do that by, they absorb it through their leaves and then from by using the sunlight the water when it rains and the soil all takes all the nutrients into the plant and then it is now produced back out into oxygen plants also uh, reproduce which means make more through their flowers when pollination gets the reproduction cycle going the seeds are made. Seeds are then harvested from humans and then replanted somewhere else or can be um, collected by um, birds, bats, and other animals and then they make more plants everywhere else. So the more plants, the more flowers, the better for our, our environment. Um, they also clean soil um, and they also clean water. So plant some flowers and give kindness and health to our world. Thank you everybody for joining us. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy our story. Bye! Bye. Surprising Spring by Jennifer Marino Walters and illustrated by John Ness. It's spring. The air is getting warmer. And the world is coming alive. Bears wake up after a long winter's sleep. Sniff, sniff. Grrr. Children come outside to play. Wave hello. What color do you see all around? Green. Green leaves sprout on trees. Tap the tiny leaf buds to help them open. Green grass shoots through the dirt. Pinch the blade of grass. Birds begin to chirp overhead. Tweet, tweet. They build nests and lay eggs. How many eggs do you count for? Crack, watch quietly as the egg hatch. What comes out?
tiny baby bird. Such a cute bird family. Other baby animals are born in spring too. Here's a little lamb, touches fluffy wool. Let's go help in the garden now. Uh-oh, it's raining now. Put on your raincoat and boots. Open your umbrella. Rain helps the grass and flowers grow, and rain can be fun. Now jump in a giant puddle. Splash! Soon the rain will stop. And flowers will grow. Look at all those pretty colors. Tap each purple flower. Now tap each red flower. What other colors do you see? Spring is full of new beginnings. But soon, spring will end. And summer will come, bring lots of outdoor fun. The end. Hello everybody, welcome back. So we are going to pull out our paper just like this. It's laminated and it's gonna be 2A. And what you're going to do on a nice sunny day, you're gonna go for a walk with mom or dad, and you're going to find these items in your nature. So you're gonna find things that are the color green, any shade of green, things of the shade of yellow, things the shade of pink, and things the shade of brown. So you can go find those on your walk, collect them and make it and place it onto your paper. Um, I'll show you a short clip of our nature walk and the things that we found on our walk. All right, have fun with that and we'll see you back here soon for craft. Bye. I found a yellow thing. Perfect, put it on here. We're going on our nature walk, or watch, I should say. Kevin. Did you find something brown? Look, uh, something brown for our nature watch. Good job. Oh, you like the flowers? Oh, are they pretty? Hmm. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome back from your nature walk. We're going to do our uh, our craft, so grab bag 2B. You're going to have some tissue paper, pipe cleaner, some fake leaves, and a little uh, Mother's Day card in there. I know it was just the other day, but you can go ahead and color and give it to Mom still. All right, so you're going to get your colors in place, just like so any way you want. I did a pattern. I did purple, sparkles, green purple sparkles green so the first thing to do is you're going to poke your pipe cleaner through the center of all of your tissue papers so you gotta be very careful so I did that just carefully pull through don't want to rip it it's very delicate okay and you're just going to twist it so it makes like a little ball on the top. That's the center of your flower. Very good. So it just looks like so. And then this is underneath. Okay. Now you're going to carefully pull up your paper. All right, so once you've twisted it all at the bottom there, you're gonna just give this a good little twist around to secure it in place. You can see that it's now forming like a beautiful flower. 
Then you're going to take this piece, there's a tiny little hole in the center, you're going to put it in this way through the center. You're going to lace it on, pull it on up, and it'll give a nice securing into the petals of the flower. And there is your flower. Beautiful. So we have two flowers, and you can give that to mom as her little Mother's Day present made from you. So have fun making that, and I'll be right back for our... Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We're going to do our painting, so grab 2C, and as well as your white paper like this, and you're going to need a white glue or a glue stick. This is my son, Gavin. He's going to assist us today. We're going to make these flowers. So you'll have paper, some cutout papers. That's our baby. Uh, some paper cutouts and uh, of leaves and stems. And, and some purple paint. Purple paint and a cotton ball. With Yours will have a clothespin attached. You can use that as your handle. So first what we're gonna do is get our glue stick out or your white glue. And you're going to do it in a long, the paper on a long way, this way. So we're going to take our stems, and you can shorten some to be shorter, or they can all be the same length, whatever you like. So we're going to do one, two, three. You have three stems. Okay, Gab? So you go ahead with that. So you, got, you can do it right on the paper. Perfect. Awesome. Once you get that all done, we'll show our friends. Okay. All right, so we went ahead and we did our three stems. And again, you can cut some of them to be shorter or keep them all the same. And then we just randomly placed our leaves from, um, you want the bottom of the leaves to be at the bottom of the page and then they start out. Now, we're going to take our cotton ball. I'm gonna show Gavin how to do it and then he's gonna finish. So you're just going to dip it into your purple paint and you're going to dab dots all the way around so i'm going to show you one now there's one like this or if you happen to have a cap from a from a pop bottle or i have a cap here from our glue stick actually i'm going to put it on the glue stick put some paint on the bottom just a little bit and I'm going to do dots all the way around our stem. So I'll do one and Gavin can do the next. So again, you can use it like you can do um, with a bottle cap or you can use your cotton ball if you don't happen to have one. I like to use the caps. I feel like they give a better round circle to give that look of the flower that you're looking for. What do you think, Gab? Is it pretty? Yeah. All right, so this is mine. And again, I did the bottom. The first one I did with the cotton ball and the rest I did with the cap. So you can go ahead and finish each stem. You want to go all the way around, okay? Okay. All right, well, Gavin's finishing that up. You guys can work on yours, and then we'll show you what ours look like at the end. All right, everyone. So Gavin finished up his painting. It looks Stunning. Hello. It's gonna go up on our Hello. bulletin board. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's gonna go up on our bulletin board for our uh, family to look at and bring lots and lots of smiles to us. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is our activity um, 2D. So grab out your bag there. You're gonna need a bin with a little bit of water in there, um, as well as the fresh flowers that were on the top of your bag. We asked for you to put them in the fridge to keep them fresh. You're gonna pull that out. Stems, leaves, petals, and all. You're gonna take it apart. I took all my petals off and put them in my water. As well as there's some food coloring in a little container. Let's give that nice pink glow. Some fake petals. Some beautiful crystal rocks. Um, some um, glittery paper. And some sparkles. And you'll have a little wooden stick you can use for stirring. We're making flower power pushing. So much fun. So you guys can get any type of little containers, funnels, and you're gonna make some potion with your flowers. Mine's gonna be happy potion. 
Make this little guy happy. Yes. And no more teething. I know. You want to splash, don't you? Want to show everyone how you splash? Okay. All right. Go splash, splash. Oh, is that? What is in there? Oh, nice. All right, you guys have fun, and we'll see you back next week for our community helpers. Bye.